everybody, this is Panina Taylor. Welcome to day 18 of the Unstuff Yourself Challenge. We're on a 30-day journey to get rid of stuff in our lives, physical stuff that crowd the space that we live in, and mental and emotional stuff that crowd our minds and our hearts. And we're making space, making space to receive blessing from God in our lives. If this is your first time joining me, please click on the link below and go visit the introductory video, see what it's all about, watch the other videos, and then come back and join us here. And if you haven't done it already, go to my website, click on paninataylor.com slash stuff. You can click on the link right there and enter the drawing for a $25 gift voucher to amazon.com. That's my way of saying thank you for joining me on this journey. And if you like me on Facebook, you get a second entry into the journey. Well, what am I getting rid of today? Today, I'm getting rid of old shoes. Shoes, I've got a ton of shoes in my closet. Why do I keep them if I don't wear them? Well. I don't know, they look pretty wearable still. They've got some use out of still in them, you know, and uh, they weren't cheap because, well, I've got big feet and having big feet means that I spend a lot of money on my shoes. It means I have to, unfortunately. But I don't wear these shoes. There's a lot of shoes in my closet that I don't wear anymore and I need to get rid of them. They're just taking up space, space that I need for other things, space that I, so that I can receive blessings in my life. And I was thinking about shoes and it got me thinking about the places we go, but not the physical places we go. It got me thinking about the places we go in our heads. Mm -hmm. How many times something happens right? An interaction that we have with another person. And we create a whole story in our minds about why the person said what they said or did what they did. We create a story and then we go there and we live in that story. And it dictates how we feel, how we feel about ourselves, how we feel about the other person, how we feel about life. And the thing is, is that many times we didn't even create the right story. We went a place that we shouldn't have even have gone because it's not reality. So I want to teach you today something that has helped me immensely and that was learning to say what else could this mean? When I come across a situation where I'm wondering why this person hates me or why this person did this other thing or whatever it is that happened and I start to create a story and I start to go there, I stop myself and I say what else could this mean? Maybe the person doesn't hate me. Maybe the person's just having a bad day. Maybe the person's in pain. Maybe there's another reason for this event to have happened. Maybe the thing that's happening is because in the end, it's going to bring about something good for me. What else could this mean? Learn not to go those places in your mind. Thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow and live inspired.